welcome back to the Pew Pew Zone. This is your host, Mike. In this video, I will talk about what, in my opinion, are the top five best 38 Special Revolvers ever. When compared to the Glocks and Sig Sauers of the world, the 38 Special Revolver is a very old firearm. The 38 Special is one of the most resilient cartridges in history, making this vintage caliber a go-to for people who wish to protect their home and property. Its introduction as the 38 Smith & Wesson Special in 1898 was intended to improve American firearms and military firepower. The 38 Special was one proposed solution after the Army's 38 Long Colt cartridge failed to effectively stop Philippine insurgents in close quarters battle. The 38 Special eventually rose to become one of the most widely used cartridges in America, despite the Army ultimately opting for a different caliber, the 45 ACP. During the Great Depression, when a stronger cartridge that could pierce the car bodywork of motorized robbers was required, the 38 Special gained popularity among police. The round was easy to teach police trainees to shoot and had soft shots. Up until the 1970s and the 1980s, when 9mm high-capacity semi-automatic handguns gained popularity, the round was the standard among law enforcement. The 38 Special is widely used today, especially by people who like the elegance and simplicity of revolvers. It is affordable and offered in a wide range of combinations, including hollow points, high-pressure plus P rounds, and standard ball ammo. The top 5 guns for shooting 38 Special are listed below. Number 5. Ruger SP-101 The U.S. manufacturer Sturm Ruger & Company manufactures a line of double-action revolvers known as the Ruger SP-101. A carry revolver with a compact frame and all-steel construction, the SP-101 has three variants. One that holds five rounds of 38 Special and 357 Magnum, another that holds six rounds of 327 Federal Magnum and 32 H&R Magnum, and another that holds eight rounds of 22 Long Rifle. The Ruger SP-101, which debuted in the early 1990s, dominated the market as the only platform for the 38 Special cartridge for many years. Similar to the bigger GP-100, the SP-101 had a shorter barrel and a smaller frame. The SP-101 has a 5-round cylinder and a 2.25-inch barrel, which is significantly longer than conventional concealed carry barrels. The revolver itself has a satin-finished stainless steel frame. Before the Ruger LCR debuted in the middle of the 2000s, the Ruger SP-101 served as the company's concealed carry pistol. Number 4. Colt Cobra Samuel Colt established Colt's Manufacturing Company in 1855, and it has been largely responsible for the development of revolvers throughout the last three centuries. One Colt's best production is the Colt Cobra. Not to be confused with the Colt King Cobra, it is a compact, double-action, short-barreled revolver with an aluminum frame. The Cobra was available in four different calibers, 22 Long Rifle, 38 Special, 38 Colt New Police, and 32 Colt New Police. It can hold six shots of ammo and it was sold from 1950 until 1981. Colt made a new run of the Colt Cobra with a steel frame and a fiber optic front sight which was introduced in December 2016 and was made available in early 2017. The Colt Cobra is a snub-nosed concealed carry revolver that bears the same name as an earlier generation of Cobra revolvers. The 2-inch barrel, adjustable sights, Hogue rubber grip, and the plus P rating are all highlights of the stainless steel revolver. The Cobra had a 6-round cylinder in contrast to conventional concealed carry revolvers, which mostly have a 5-round capacity. Number 3. Smith & Wesson Model 10 the Smith & Wesson Model 10, previously known as the Smith & Wesson 38 Hand Ejector Model of 1899, the Smith & Wesson Military and Police, or the Smith & Wesson Victory Model, is a K-frame revolver of worldwide popularity. In production since 1899, the Model 10 is a 6-shot 38 Special Double Action Revolver with fixed sights. Over its long production run, it has been available with barrel lengths of 2 inches or 51 mm, 2.5 inches or 64 mm, 3 inches or 76 mm, 4 inches or 100 mm, 5 inches or 130 mm, and 6 inches or 150 mm. The Model 10 was at one point the most widely used 38 Special Revolver, sometimes referred to as the Glock of the post-war law enforcement world. The Smith & Wesson Model 38 hand ejector revolver's name was changed to the Model 10 in 1957, 
It is one of the first revolvers with a cylinder that swung out when a frame lock was depressed. Compared to using a conventional loading gate, this made reloading significantly quicker. 500,000 Model 10s were created for the Allied armies during World War II because they were so well liked by law enforcement agencies. Number 2. Smith & Wesson Model 442 the Smith & Wesson Model 442 was the company's entrance into the highly lucrative mid-priced rimfire handgun market, and it was manufactured from 1987 to 1996. At the time, Sturm Ruger's wildly popular Mark I and Mark II series of handguns dominated the market. When the Model 46 was removed from their catalog in 1966, Smith & Wesson had already abandoned the market. Before being withdrawn in 1996, the pistol sold for approximately $250. Depending on the physical size of the frame, the size of the user, and the caliber being used, Smith & Wesson assigns each of its revolver frames a letter classification. One of the company's J-frame firearms designed for concealed carry is the Model 442. The Model 442 has an overall length of only 6.3 inches and weighs 14.7 ounces when empty, thanks in large part to its aluminum alloy frame. Where it matters, Smith & Wesson continues to use steel. The barrel is composed of stainless steel while the cylinder is constructed of carbon steel. The 442 is hammerless, which refers to the fact that the hammer is actually enclosed within the frame. As a result, it cannot become tangled up in garments while being drawn. Number 1. Smith & Wesson 686 The Smith & Wesson Model 686 is a 6-shot or 7-shot double-action revolver. Standard models of the 686 come with barrel lengths of 2.5, 3, 5, 6, 7, and 8 inches, although other barrel lengths can be ordered on demand from Smith & Wesson's Performance Center Custom Shop or purchased from aftermarket gunsmiths. The Model 686 comes with a 6-round cylinder, while the Model 686 Plus, sometimes known as the 686P variation, has a 7-round cylinder. The 686PP model has an integrated compensator. The PP stands for Power Port, also known as a muzzle brake. The 686 has pistol grips, which are either squared or rounded. These are known in the gun community as either a square butt or a round butt. The pistol's grips can be replaced, and there are numerous aftermarket variations available. The Model 686 includes an adjustable rear sight, and up until 1992, users could choose between a front sight that was also adjustable in the 152 and 211 millimeter versions. Up until 1994, they came with the Goncalo Alvis wood grips. In 1994, a Hogue rubber grip took its place. The 357 Magnum cartridge, which is heavier and more powerful, is definitely related to the 38 Special Round. This means 38 Special Ammo can be used in 357 Magnum revolvers, but 357 Magnum Ammo cannot be used in 38 Special Revolvers because it does not physically fit. The Model 686 is an example of all 357 Magnum revolvers that can chamber and shoot 38 Special today. Smith & Wesson's L-Frame Revolver, which are medium-frame revolvers, is the basis for the 686. The L-Frame can handle the heavier 357 Magnum recoil while accommodating a wide range of hand sizes. The Model 686 sports a 4-inch barrel, stainless steel construction, and movable sights. That said, all revolvers on this list are double-action slash single-action handguns. And that's all for this video. If you feel like I've left out other revolvers that should have been on this list, let me know by commenting down below. Please, click on the like, share, and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you in the next video.